Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. Learning to carry a conversation is vital to mastery of any language. Even beginners can quickly learn conversational language well enough to carry on real conversations with native speakers. Of course, beginners won't be able to carry a conversation the same way they could in their native language. But just knowing a few tips, like which questions to ask to keep a conversation going, are all you need to speak and interact with real native speakers. Before we get to specific suggestions, let's first take a closer look at how having real conversations in your target language is so vital to your mastery of the language. Communicating with other people is the very point of language, and conversation comes easily in our native tongue. For beginners, or anyone learning a new language, conversations aren't easy at all, and even simple greetings can be intimidating and awkward. Nothing kills a conversation faster than long periods of awkward silence, so you need practice and specific strategies to avoid them. When you know what to say to keep a conversation going, communication becomes much easier, and you make a better impression on your listener. Nothing will help you learn to speak a language faster and truly master the language than having real conversations with native speakers. Conversations quickly expose you to slang, cultural expressions, and vocabulary that force you to absorb and assimilate information faster than any educational setting. And that's a great thing! But how can you possibly have real conversations with real people if you're just starting out? Here are three proven methods that even beginners can quickly use to learn conversational language to make a great impression and avoid awkward silences. First, ask questions to keep a conversation going. For beginners and even more advanced speakers, the key is to ask questions to keep a conversation going. Of course, they can't be just random questions or else you may confuse the listener. But by memorizing a few key questions and the appropriate time to use them, you can easily carry a conversation with minimal vocabulary or experience. And remember, the more conversations you have, the quicker you will learn and master the language. Second, learn core vocabulary terms as quickly as possible. You don't need to memorize thousands of words to learn conversational language. In fact, with just a couple hundred words, you could have a very basic conversation. And by learning maybe 1,000 to 2,000 words, you could carry a conversation with a native speaker about current events, order in restaurants, and even get directions. To help you get started with this, check out our 2,000 common words, also known as our core list. These 2,000 words are all you need to learn to speak fluently and carry a conversation with a native speaker. Third, study video or audio lessons that you can play and replay again and again. If you want to know how to carry on a conversation, then you need exposure to native speakers, and the more, the better. Studying video or audio lessons is ideal because they provide contextualized learning in your native language, and you can play them again and again until you achieve mastery. Our instructors have created more than 2,500 video and audio lessons that you can play over and over. And the best part is, they don't just teach you vocabulary and grammar. They are designed to help you learn to speak and teach you practical everyday topics like shopping, ordering, and more. Although it may seem intimidating for a beginner, the truth is that it's very easy to learn conversational language. Just learn a few core vocabulary terms and which questions to ask to keep a conversation going. Our language learning program has the world's largest online collection of video and audio lessons by real instructors plus tons of advanced tools to help you learn to speak and carry on a conversation quickly. Just a little practice and exposure to real conversations or lessons is all it really takes. So, if you're ready to finally learn a new language the fast, fun, and easy way, sign up for your free lifetime account by clicking on the link in the description. Signing up takes less than 30 seconds, and you'll start speaking from your very first lesson. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share the video with anyone who's trying to learn a new language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, I'm back. It's me, Christine, and today's lesson, the 10 hardest words to pronounce in Afrikaans. So it's gonna be a difficult one, and remember to get those mouth muscles moving because we're gonna be using them quite a bit in this lesson today. Goeie. 
goeie. Good. Dit is goeie nies. That is good news. This one's hard to say because it's got the ch sound that's so popular in Afrikaans language. Um, just pretend that you're really angry or irritated at something and you're going, ugh, and then keep that sound and go, goeie, goeie. And it's a goeie thing to learn it because it's used all the time. News. 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 Ek het baie goeie news. I have very good news. I hope you have very goeie news to tell me because if you do, it means you've learned the ch and the news, which is what makes that word a bit harder than others. So this one is e. You're going, making this weird shape with your mouth. E. Goeie news. Gebruik. Gebruik. Use. Can I your car gebruik? Can I use your car? This one's a little bit as awkward as that question because you don't really want to give someone else your car just in case something happens, but you do because you're a nice person and they're your friend. So this is that word. You you really want to learn it because it's the word for using any word. So the word is gebruik, the ch sound as before, and now we've added a new sound, oi, oi, gebruik. Rack, rack, shelf. The rack is full stuff. The shelf is full of dust. This word it has the it doesn't have the ch that we've been talking about, but now we've got a new sound in Afrikaans that a lot of people in different languages struggle with a little bit, and it's the rrr, as if your tongue is jumping up and down in your mouth. Rrr, rack. More, more, morning. Ek gaan more kom keier. I'm going to come visit tomorrow. This one has a r like before. It's a little bit easier, but it just, you have to remember to read more because in English it's spelled like more. So don't say more, say more. And the older generations of Afrikaans people, they might say it a little bit differently and they sometimes say more, but it's more commonly used as more. Lekker. Lekker. Nice. Delicious. Die kos is baie lekker. This food is very nice. This word is a must. You must learn how to say this word. Lekker. Lekker. Because it is used all the time in South Africa. Everything is lekker. Not just the course that we were just talking about. The weather is lekker. The party was lekker. The drink is lekker. My friends are lekker. It's just a word that we use all the time. So it's definitely lekker to know the word lekker. Roll. 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 Die pen het gerol. The pen rolled. This one is funny because roll, roll, all you have to do is roll your tongue on your mouth so it makes the r sound like before. Roll. It's quite nice to say actually if you say it a couple of times in a row. Roll. Gek. Gek. Crazy. Die man is gek om te spring. The man is crazy to jump. You're saying that because you're watching some bungee jumping show or someone jumping out of an airplane. They are gek. And gek is also a bit of a gek word to know because it's like the ch sound and the ek, which means me. So it's like you're saying you are gek, but you're not really. But it's a gek word. It's a gek lekker word. Crazy nice word. Lach. Lach. Laugh. Ek lach elke dag vir my hond. I laugh at my dog every day. Lach is such a lekker word. Um, to laugh is such, it's the greatest thing ever. So it's important to learn this word because maybe learning how to say it will make you laugh and then you'll have a happy memory and remember the word and it's a win-win situation. Ross. Ross. Noise. Die bure ras baie. The neighbors are very noisy. 
just like me sitting here in the park today where there's a lot of people around me having picnics and everything and there's, there's quite a lot of noise going on but at least the ras isn't too much for me to make this lovely video and teach you some Afrikaans. So ras. So we've made it to the end of the 10 hardest words to pronounce in Afrikaans. If you haven't managed them, that's okay. They're very hard and like I said, they're the 10 hardest. So keep on trying, keep using that mouth and say all those things, say it weirdly in the mirror. Look at your mouth when you're saying them and that sometimes helps because it helps your muscle memory to remember how to do them. And if you know any other words that you found that are hard to pronounce, put them in the comments below. Like these videos, please subscribe and just keep learning Afrikaans with AfrikaansPod101.com A vrou pas a rok aan en praat met die winkelassistent. Wat a rok gaan sy koop? Dit lyk prachtig aan u. En pas perfect. Ja, dit pas. Maar ek draag gewoonlik sachte kleren. Ek is nie gewoond aan die type patroon nie. Wel, ek dink u lyk fantasties. Rechtig? Nog steeds. Dit gaan baie moed vat vir my om dit te dra. Wat van die rok dan? Die patroon is baie sachter. U sal nie so flashy voel nie. Jy is reg. Laat ek dit probeer. Pas dit aan. Wat dink, mevrouw? Hier die een pas my baie beter as die vorige een. Het jylle ook een langmou weergabe van hier die ontwerp? Ja, ons het. Dankie, ek sal dit koop. Wat een rok gaan sy koop? Een vrouw pas een rok aan en praat met die winkelassistent. Wat een rok gaan sy koop? Dit lyk prachtig aan u. En pas perfect. Ja, dit pas. Maar ek draag gewoonlik sachte kleren. Ek is nie gewoond aan die type patroon nie. Wel, ek dink u lyk fantasties. Rechtig? Nog steeds. Dit gaan baie moed vat vir my om dit te dra. Wat van die rok dan? Die patroon is baie sachter. U sal nie so flashy voel nie. Jy is reg. Laat ek dit probeer. Pas dit aan. Wat dink, mevrouw? Hier die een pas my baie beter as die vorige een. Het jylle ook een langmou weergabe van hier die ontwerp? Ja, ons het. Dankie, ek sal dit koop. Een man en sy vrou kyk na grondplanne. Wat er woonstel gaan hulle na kyk? Wat van die een? Dit het een prachtige groot leefkamer. Hmm, ek hou van een groot leefkamer, maar ek wil graag een parkeerplek ook hee. Kom ons kyk, wat van hier die een? Ja, dis prachtig. Sal ons na die een gaan kyk? Wacht oomlik, is die kas nie een bykie te klein nie? Goeie punt. Hmm, dit lyk nie of daar een perfecte een is nie. Wacht, wat van hier die een? Dit het alles wat ons nodig het, nie waar nie? En die kas is tamelijk groot. Kom ons gaan kyk na die een. Oké. Okay. Wat er woonstel gaan hulle na kyk? Een man en sy vrou kyk na grondplanne. Wat er woonstel gaan hulle na kyk? Wat van die een? Dit het een prachtige groot leefkamer. Hmm, ek hou van een groot leefkamer maar ek wil graag een parkeerplek ook hee. Kom ons kyk, wat van hier die een? Ja, dis prachtig. Sal ons na die een gaan kyk? Wacht oomlik, is die kas nie een bykie te klein nie? Goeie punt. Hmm, dit lyk nie of daar een perfecte een is nie. Wacht, wat van hier die een? Dit het alles wat ons nodig het, nie waar nie? En die kas is tamelijk groot. Kom ons gaan kyk na die een. Oké. Okay. Een mannelijke en vrouwelijke student kyk na verskillende werksposities. Wat er werk gaan die vrouwelijke student voor aanzoek doen? Hey, wat denk jy van hier die werk? Die eerlijke salaris is redelijk hoog. Natuurlijk, die salaris lyk fantasties. Maar kan jy rarige korant aflevering route hanteer? 
Natuurlijk, ek is baie goed met fietsrij, maar ek is bekommerd oor vroeg opstaan. Wat van hierdie een? Die salaris is nie so hoog nie, maar jy kan twee tot drie dae week werk en in die aand begin werk. O, hierdie een, een supermarkassier. Hmm, wel, dit zou so goed wees om na school te werk. Die een in die koffiewinkel kan ook goed wees. O ja, ek is mal oor daar die plek en dis op die pad school toe. Nie sleg nie, ne? Hmm, wat er een moet ek aansoek voordoen? Tussen wat er twee moet jy kies? Die koffiewinkel en die korantafleveringsroute? Ja, die salaris van die korantafleveringsroute is rechtig fantasties. Oké, okay, ek het my besluit gemaakt. Ek gaan maar net vroeg moet opstaan. Wat er werk gaan die vrouwelijke student voor aansoek doen? Een mannelijke en vrouwelijke student kyk na verskillende werksposities. Wat er werk gaan die vrouwelijke student voor aansoek doen? Hey, wat denk jy van hier die werk? Die eerlijke salaris is redelijk hoog. Natuurlijk, die salaris lyk fantasties. Maar kan jy rarige korant aflevering route hanteer? Natuurlijk, ek is baie goed met fietsrij, maar ek is bekommerd oor vroeg opstaan. Wat van hierdie een? Die salaris is nie so hoog nie, maar jy kan twee tot drie dae week werk en in die aand begin werk. O, hierdie een, een supermarkassier. Hmm, wel, dit zou so goed wees om na school te werk. Die een in die koffiewinkel kan ook goed wees. O ja, ek is mal oor daar die plek en dis op die pad school toe. Nie sleg nie, ne? Hmm, wat er een moet ek aansoek voordoen? Tussen wat er twee moet jy kies? Die koffiewinkel en die korantafleveringsroute? Ja, die salaris van die korantafleveringsroute is rechtig fantasties. Oké, okay, ek het my besluit gemaakt. Ek gaan maar net vroeg moet opstaan. Een man is bezig om een bespreking te maak by die hotel. Wat er kamer gaan hy in bly? Seaside Hotel, hoe kan ek jy help? Hallo, ek wil graag oorblij vir een nacht op 22 september. Sekerlik, een nacht op 22 september. Hoeveel mense? Twee. Wil jy graag een rook of nie rook kamer bespreek, meneer? Nie rook. Die enigste Nero kamer wat op die dag beskikbaar is, is een kamer met een uitzicht op die berg. Sal dit u pas, meneer? Wel, ek het eindelijk gehoop op een kamer met een uitzicht op die see. Ek is jammer, maar die enigste kamer met een uitzicht op die see wat beskikbaar is die dag, is een rook kamer. Ek sien, is daar een nie rook, see uitzicht kamer beskikbaar op die 23ste september? Ja, daar is. Goed, ons bly dan die 23ste september oor. Wat er kamer gaan hy in bly? Een man is bezig om een bespreking te maak by die hotel. Wat er kamer gaan hy in bly? Seaside Hotel, hoe kan ek jy help? Hallo, ek wil graag oorbly vir een nacht op 22 september. Sekerlik. Een nacht op 22 september. Hoeveel mense? Twee. Wil u graag een rook of nie rook kamer bespreek, meneer? Nie rook. Die enigste nie rook kamer wat op die dag beskikbaar is, is een kamer met een uitzicht op die berg. Sal dit u pas, meneer? Wel, ek het eindelijk gehoop op een kamer met een uitzicht op die see. Ek is jammer, maar die enigste kamer met een uitzicht op die see wat beskikbaar is die dag, is een rookkamer. Ek sien, is daar een nie rook, see uitzicht kamer, beskikbaar op die 23ste september? Ja, daar is. Goed, ons bly dan die 23ste september oor. Een vrou is bezig om met haar haarstylis te praat. Hoe wil sy haar hare verander? Hallo, kan ek jou help? Hi, ek het om drie ure afspraak. Ach ja, 
Welkom, juffrouw Richa. Volg mij alsjeblieft. Wat kan ik vandaag voor u doen? Ik wil graag mijn haarstijl een beetje veranderen. Oké, okay. hoe lang wil jij dit hebben? Omtrent schouwerlengte. Oké, okay. en wat van jouw kuif? Hou mijn kuif. Raag je het af of naar die kant toe gekomen? Een beetje naar die kant toe. Wat er kant? Misschien een beetje langs van die middel. Goed zo. Ons zal beginnen met de shampoo. Volg mij alsjeblieft. Hoe wil zij haar haren veranderen? Een vrouw is bezig om met haar haarstilus te praten. Hoe wil zij haar haren veranderen? Hallo, kan ik jou helpen? Hi, ik heb om drie uur een afspraak. Ach ja, welkom je Richa. Volg mij alsjeblieft. Wat kan ik vandaag voor u doen? Ik wil graag mijn haarstijl een beetje veranderen. Oké, okay. hoe lang wil jij dit hebben? Omtrent schouwerlengte. Oké, okay. en wat van jouw kuif? Hou mijn kuif. Raag je het af of naar die kant toe gekomen? Een beetje naar die kant toe. Wat er kant? Misschien een beetje langs van die middel. Goed zo, ons zal beginnen met de shampoo. Volg mij alsjeblieft. Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. Hello, it's Christine again. We're here today again in 10 phrases that you never want to hear. Ish. So these are all going to be very negative. I'm really sorry. I don't want to offend anyone. But when I'm saying these things, I'm not saying them to you. I'm just telling you them so that when someone says them to you, you know that you should probably act in a in a scared or sorry way because you don't want to know these things. Het jy onlangs gewig opgedaal? Het jy onlangs gewig opgedaal? Have you gained weight recently? Het jy onlangs gewig opgedaal? Have you gained weight lately? It's quite a harsh thing to say to someone, something you should learn but not say. Um, know it so that if someone tells you, you can be like, no, I haven't, thanks, and it's got none of nothing to do with you anyway. And if you have, who cares? Like, love yourself, love your body, and ignore people who ask you if you've picked up weight. Jy het a grys haar. Jy het a grys haar. You have a grey hair. Jy het a grys haar. You have a grey hair. This is quite scary, especially if you're getting a little bit older, but not that much older, and you're finding a grijs haar, and you're like, ah, my life is going so quickly. But it's not the end of the world. It's fine. Just pluck it out, or dye it, or actually just own it. Go gray. Gray is the new black. Well, I don't know. It's gray is the new gray, but <laughs> own it. Own yourself. Own your body. Own your hair. Own everything. It's making you a happier person that way. I get your say. Ek het jou gesê. I told you so. Ek het jou gesê. I told you so. Hate hearing this from people because it means you were wrong. And ek het jou gesê, it sounds so condescending. But if you're the one to say it, you're feeling a little bit better. So I guess it's one to learn um, and hopefully use. <laughs> Jij is afgedank. Jij is Afgedank. You're fired. Jij is afgedank. You are fired. So this one is quite terrible. No one really wants to hear that. And unfortunately in Afrikaans it doesn't even have that punch like yes, afgedank. Doesn't really sound as much as you're fired. But you if someone says that to you, I'm really sorry. Good luck finding a new job. Um and maybe ask why so that you can change something, I guess. Dit is nie jy nie, dit is ek. Dit is nie jy nie, dit is ek. It's not you, it's me. Dit is nie jy nie, dit is ek. It's not you, it's me. Another one that we definitely don't want to hear if you were in a relationship and they're ending things with you or telling you something and it's it's not you it's me Ugh, you're right it probably is you but they're just trying to be polite but if you're using this one 
maybe don't. Like, learn it in Afrikaans. Dit is nie jy dit is ek. But don't use it in that way, because most of the time, it's just something that softens the blow, but it doesn't really actually do that. Thank you for your CV. Ons het die posiesie geval. Thank you for your CV. Ons het die posiesie geval. Thank you for your resume, however the position has been filled. Thank you for your CV. Ons het die posiesie geval. Thank you for your resume. However, the position's already been filled. Unfortunately, you've just been fired and now you're trying to find a new job and they're telling you that there's no more new job left and you're just not in a great space. And I'm really sorry if you're in this space. Um, I'm just wishing you all the best of luck and hopefully you never have to hear these things. I'm sorry. Ons moet ander mense sien. Ons moet ander mense sien. We should see other people. Ons moet ander mense sien. We should see other people. This is almost as bad as the it's not you, it's me thing. Um, except it's a little bit more open and honest and just telling people how you feel. So I guess if you're in that position, remember how to say, ons moet ander mense sien. Ek het nie jou geld vandag nie. Ek het nie jou geld vandag nie. I don't have your money today. I can't your geld vandag nie. I don't have your money today. That sucks if it's the end of the month and you've kind of run through all your spendings have been high and you've run through all your savings and your boss tells you that they don't have your geld vandag and it sucks and means you're going to have to be living on rice or popcorn or something for a couple of days. I mean, I've been there. <laughs> but um, yeah, not a great one to hear either. Hey, these things are making me feel like life's very hard right now. <laughs> Ons moet praat. Ons moet praat. We need to talk. Ons moet praat. We need to talk. Here's another one of those relationship shooters that we really don't like to hear. Um, even though sometimes they can be positive, you know, like we need to talk about moving in together or something like that. But since we're in this list, we're going to assume that ons moet praat means that we're going to be seeing other people or something along those unfortunate lines. Jou kar is gesteel. Jou kar is gesteel. Your car is stolen. Jou kar is gesteel. Your car is stolen. Definitely don't want to hear that one ever. It's a lot of money and a lot of issues and a lot of admin to get that fixed and get it back or get it found or get a new one or insurance or like, ugh, there's so many things that come with this stupid little sentence of your car is gesteel. So pay a car guard or park in a parking lot or try not to put your car in a place where it can be stolen. <laughs> So we've come to the end of today's lesson, finally, of 10 things that you never want to hear. Um, hopefully you never hear those things. I'm really sorry if you do. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you've ever been told any of those things, whether in Afrikaans or in another language, and how you responded, what you did. And maybe you can motivate some other people to not have such a negative response to these negative sayings. And I'm really sorry, but they're good to know in life. Um, so yeah, comment, subscribe, like, and remember to do Afrikaans with AfrikaansBot101.com. Welcome to AfrikaansPod101.com's Afrikaans in 3 Minuten, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Afrikaans. Hello, ek is Anne-Marie, aangename kennis. Hi, I'm Anne-Marie, nice to meet you. In this series, we're going to learn basic Afrikaans expressions. It's super easy and it only takes three minutes. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to introduce yourself in Afrikaans. We'll start speaking right away, but first it's important to clarify that in Afrikaans, there are different greetings depending on the situation. Let's first see how Afrikaners introduce themselves in a casual situation. Hello, ek is Anne-Marie. Aangename kennis. Hi, I'm Anne-Marie. Nice to meet you. Hallo, 
Ekus and Marie, an Hename Kennis. Start by saying Hallo, Ek is, then say your name. For example, Hallo, Ek is Anne Marie. Finally, say An Hename Kennis. Again, all together, it is Hallo, Ek is Anne Marie, An Hename Kennis. Now, let's see that same sentence in a more formal context. Goeie dag, ek is Anne-Marie Luck, aangename kennis. Good day, I am Anne-Marie Luck, pleasure to meet you. Goeie dag, ek is Anne-Marie Luck, aangename kennis. Let's try that again. G, try pronouncing it from the back of your throat. Goeie dag, goeie dag, ek is Anne-Marie Luck. Aangename kennis. So, what has actually changed from the previous introduction? Let's take a closer look at these expressions together. Hallo has been substituted with the formal greeting Hoyadach, which is Afrikaans for good day. Akis Anne Marie has not been changed. Akis simply means I am. However, during a formal self introduction, we also say our last name. So I said Anne Marie Luck. Here, you would say your full name. One more time. The informal way to introduce yourself in Afrikaans is Hallo, ek is Anne-Marie, aangename kennis. The more formal way to introduce yourself is Goeie dag, ek is Anne-Marie Luck, aangename kennis. Now it's time for Anne-Marie's tips. When you introduce yourself, it's a good habit to shake hands, usually with a short but firm handshake. If you're not sure whether to use hallo or goeiedag, just say hallo, as this expression can be used in all introductions. If you use the correct sentence with a friendly smile and a good handshake, Afrikaners will definitely be impressed. That's it for this lesson. Woon jy weer in South Africa? Ja, ek woon weer hier. Ek woon weer in Pretoria. In die centrum? Ja, en waar woon jy? Ek woon ook in Pretoria. Werk jy in die centrum? Ja, ek werk hier. Waar werk jy? Ek werk van die huis af. A man en a vrou gesels. Hoe oud is die man nou? Jou verjaarsdag is binnenkort. Ja, het is oormorre. Hoe oud word jy? Ek word 60. Veels geluk. Kom ons vier dit. Baie dankie. Ek is baie dankbaar. Hoe oud is die man nou? A man en a vrou gesels. Hoe oud is die man nou? Jou verjaarsdag is binnenkort. Ja, het is oormorre. Hoe oud word jy? Ek word 60. Veels geluk. Kom ons vier dit. Baie dankie. Ek is baie dankbaar. A man en a vrou gesels. Hoeveel mense in totaal kom na die partijkie toe? Die partijkie is morre. Wie kom na die partijkie toe? Twee van ons. Twee vriende van my en die onderwijzer. Dit maak vijf. O, die onderwijzer bring sy vrou saam. Heel te mal reg. Hoeveel mense in totaal kom na die partijkie toe? A man en a vrou gesels. Hoeveel mense in totaal kom na die partijkie toe? Die partijkie is morre. Wie kom na die partijkie toe? Twee van ons, twee vriende van my en die onderwijzer. Dit maak vijf. O, die onderwijzer bring sy vrou saam. Heel te mal reg. Hallo, my naam is Pieter. Wat is jou naam? Hallo Pieter, my naam is Zani. Dis gaaf om jou te ontmoet. Jou ook. A man en sy vrou doen inkoopies op die internet.
Wanneer zal die stofzeier afgeleverd worden? Hi, wat denk jij van die stofzeier? Ik denk dit lijkt goed. Ga jij dit bestel? Ja, ik ga. Dit zal drie of vier dagen nemen om afgeleverd te worden. Ons moet die dag kies. Wat van volgende zaterdag? Ons gaan vroeg zaterdagochtend tennis speel. O, dis reg. Dan is zondag beter? Oké, okay, ik zal dit dan zo so doen. Hey, moet niet vergeet om vrijdagavond vroeg huis toe te kom nie, want ons moet zaterdag vroeg vertrek. Ik weet. Wanneer zal die stofzeier afgeleverd worden? Een man en zijn vrouw doen een kopies op die internet. Wanneer zal die stofzeier afgeleverd worden? Hey, wat denk jij van die stofzeier? Ik denk dit lijkt goed. Ga jij dit bestel? Ja, ik ga. Dit zal drie of vier dagen nemen om afgeleverd te worden. Ons moet die dag kies. Wat van volgende zaterdag? Ons gaan vroeg zaterdagochtend tennis speel. O, dis reg. Dan is zondag beter? Oké, okay, ik zal dit dan zo so doen. Hey, moet niet vergeet om vrijdagavond vroeg huis toe te kom nie, want ons moet zaterdag vroeg vertrek. Ik weet. Hallo Annet, hoe gaan dit? Hallo Mika. Goed dankie. Hoe gaan het met jou? Goed dankie. Hoe gaan het met Jan? Heel goed en met Bert en die kinders? Ook goed. Wat een verrassing. Ja, een man en een vrouw gesels. Naar wat er klok kyk hulle en hoe laat is dit? Weet jy hoe laat dit is? Ek is jammer. Ek het vandag my oorloosie vergeet. Ek sien. Ik is bekommerd of ons betijds gaan wees voor die trein. O, daar is de klok bij die stasie ingang. Goed, o nee, die trein kom oor vijf minuten. Dit is die tien uur trein, raag? Ja, ons moet opskut. Naar wat er klok kyk hulle en hoe laat is dit? Een man en een vrouw gesels. Naar wat er klok kyk hulle en hoe laat is dit? Weet jy hoe laat dit is? Ek is jammer. Ek het vandag my oorloosie vergeet. Ek sien. Ek is bekommerd of ons betijds gaan wees vir die trein. O, daar is de klok bij die stasie ingang. Goed. O nee, die trein kom oor vijf minuten. Dit is die tien uur trein, raag? Ja, ons moet opskut. Ek is op pad na een koffiewinkel. Goeie idee. Ek is lus vir die thee. Is jou man ook in Durban? Ja, Bert het gister gekom. Is hy nou in die centrum? Ja, ons werk al by in die centrum. Werk jylle elke dag? Bert werk elke dag en ek werk deeltijds. Een man en een vrouw gesels terwijl hulle kyk na een foto. Wat er een is die vrouw se jonger broer? Ek het gehoor jy het een tweeling broer. Ek het dit nie geweet nie. Ja, maar mense sê ons lyk nie na mekaar nie. Sien, my broer is in hier die foto, maar kan jij sê wat er een is hy? Wel, ik zie niet enig iemand wat lijkt zoals jij niet. Talk ik hier die een met die kip? Nee, niet daar die een nie. Hy het zwart haren, net soos myne. Wel, dan hier die lang een? Nee, hy is niet so lang nie. Ik kan hom steeds niet vind nie. Jylle lyk rechtig nie na mekaar nie. Ek weet, dalk maak die bril dit moeiliker. Bril? Dan hier die een, tweede van links. Jy het dit. 
Like X was high? Nee, nie rechtig nie. Wat er een is die vrou se jonger broer? A man en a vrou gesels terwyl hulle kyk na a foto. Wat er een is die vrou se jonger broer? Ek het gehoor jy het tweeling broer. Ek het dit nie geweet nie. Ja, maar mense sê ons lyk nie na mekaar nie. Sien, my broer is in hierdie foto, maar kan jy sê wat er een is hy? Wel, ek sien nie enig iemand wat lyk soos jy nie. Talk hier die een met die kip? Nee, nie daar die een nie. Hy het swart hare, net soos myne. Wel, dan hier die lang een? Nee, hy is nie so lang nie. Ek kan hom steeds nie vind nie. Jylle lyk rechtig nie na mekaar nie. Ek weet, dalk maak die bril dit moeiliker. Bril? Dan hier die een, tweede van links. Jy het dit, lyk ek soos hy? Nee, nie rechtig nie. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Want to finally start speaking in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top seven ways to practice speaking on your own with our lessons. Let's begin. Number one, shadowing. Shadowing is a proven learning technique where all you do is repeat what you hear in order to practice speaking. So access any audio or video lesson on the site and press the play button to start. Then as you listen or watch, just repeat the conversations or even easier, read along out loud with the dialogue section. The script is right there in front of you. With our lessons, you can master entire conversations just like that. Number two, read out loud. I just mentioned it, but reading out loud is another powerful tactic and deserves its own mention. With every lesson, you get written transcripts and translations. So as you play the lesson, read the dialogue out loud as you hear it. Why? By reading out loud, you're also practicing your speaking skills. You can do this with the lesson notes, the lesson transcript, or the dialogue tool. With the dialogue tool, you can listen to each line again and again, and repeat out loud until you master them all. Number three, speed up your reading to speed up your speaking. Being able to speak without thinking is a sign of language mastery. If you're talking to a native and can respond quickly, they'll assume that you're fairly fluent. How can you do this? When you read out loud, try increasing your speed a little bit every time. So, start by reading with the dialogue tool. If you're like most learners, you'll read the first line slowly. That's because you're still getting used to the words, which is okay. Reread it. On your second try, you know most of the words and you'll read a little faster. Reread it again. On your third try, you'll be even faster, at a native speaker's speed. And being able to read these phrases out loud and fast will help you speak fast. Number four, record and compare yourself with native speakers. In order to sound like a native speaker, you must imitate native speakers. So here's how. Access the voice recorder, which is in the dialogue study tool in every lesson. Click on the microphone icon, listen to the native speaker's audio, and then record yourself. You can then compare the two recordings side by side and practice and try again and again until you perfect your pronunciation. Number five, get feedback from our Premium Plus teacher. If you're learning by yourself and don't have access to real teachers, then you can always get feedback from our Premium Plus teachers. With the My Teacher tool, you can record yourself speaking and send the audio file to the teacher. They'll review it and tell you what to improve and how. That's it. Number six, level up your speaking with Premium Plus assignments. With Premium Plus, you can also get assignments that cover reading, writing, listening, and even speaking from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number seven, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more lessons on speaking and conversations, 
Visit our lesson library and under Category, choose Conversation. You'll get all of the pathways and lessons that are focused on speaking. If you enjoyed these tips, hit the like button, share it with anyone who's trying to learn a language, and subscribe to our channel. We release new videos every week. And if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, and start speaking from your very first lesson, get our complete learning program. Sign up for your free lifetime account right now. Click the link in the description. I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello, Amal. Ek is Anne-Marie. Hi, everybody. I'm Anne-Marie. Welcome to AfrikaansPod101.com's Afrikaans in 3 Minuten, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn Afrikaans. In the last lesson, you learned how to thank people by saying danke. In this lesson, you'll learn some of the most common greetings used when speaking Afrikaans. Is je reg? Are you ready? Let's start. The most commonly used informal greeting is hallo, hallo. Hallo means hi or hello. We can use this greeting with friends or relatives. Hallo. The most used formal greetings changes depending on the time of day. Let's see what they are. First we have goeie dag. Literally, goeie dag means good day. Goeie dag. As a rule of thumb, we can use goeie dag only during the daytime from late morning until early evening. Next is the greeting we say only for the morning. Goeie mora. Goeie mora. For the afternoon, we say goeie middag. Goeie middag. During the evening, we say goeie naand. Goeie naand. Goed is Afrikaans for good. Mora, middag and naand means morning, afternoon and evening, respectively. Easy, right? Now, what should you say when you leave? Afrikaners usually say tot ziens when leaving in a formal situation. Tot ziens. Tot ziens means goodbye. When we say goodbye to friends or relatives, we use the informal lekker dag. Lekker dag. You can also say bye. Bye. Now you can greet people in many different ways in Afrikaans. Let's review them all again. First, the greetings. Informally, we simply say hello. If you want to be a bit more formal, you can use goeie dag during the daytime, goeie morgen in the morning, goeie middag in the afternoon, and goeie naand in the evening. When leaving in a formal situation, we say tot ziens, and in an informal situation, it's lekker dag or bye. It's easy, isn't it? Now it's time for Anne-Marie's tips. In informal situations, Afrikaners, especially good friends, commonly greet each other by giving each other a quick hug. If you're unsure, you can just stick out your hand and give a firm handshake and a smile. Smile goes a long way. During the next lesson, we'll learn the meaning of the phrase Praatje Engels. Do you already know it? I'll tell you all about it in our next Afrikaans in 3 Minuten lesson. Lekker dag! In this lesson, you are going to learn how to tell people where you are from. When you meet a new person in South Africa, they might ask you, Waar kom jy vandaan? Which means, where are you from? Waar kom jy vandaan? Let's break it down. Waar means where. Kom is the verb to come. Next is jy, the informal word for you. Finally, vandaan, which means from. Altogether, it's waar kom jy vandaan? Waar kom jy vandaan? Answering this question is very easy. You just say ekis, which means I am, and then your nationality. For example, ekis Amerikaans, meaning I am American. Ek is Amerikaans. Just replace Amerikaans with your own nationality. I am German is ekis dates. I am Italian is ekis Italians. I am Brazilian is ekis Brazilians. You could also answer by saying Ek is van Duitsland, meaning I am from Germany, for example. Ek is van means I am from. Ek is van. So in this case, you would use the name of your country instead of your nationality. For example, if you are from France, you'd say Ek is van Frankrijk. Or if you are from Australia, you'd say Ek is van Australia. 
To return the question, you can simply say and yay, which is and you. Now it's time for Anne-Marie's tips. You'll find that the nationalities in Afrikaans are very similar to their English equivalents. Also note that we capitalize the first letter of countries and nationalities, just like in English. Easy, right? In this lesson, you learned how to ask someone where they're from. But do you know how to ask someone where they are right now in Afrikaans? I'll tell you how in the next Afrikaans in 3 Minuten lesson. Lekker dag! Want to speak real Afrikaans from your first lesson? Sign up for your free lifetime account at AfrikaansPod101.com. In this lesson, we'll continue our series dedicated to very common Afrikaans verbs. The second verb in our series is dun, which means to do. Dun is used quite a lot, especially in questions. Imagine your friend asks you, wat dun je? That means, what are you doing? So if you're doing your homework, for example, you will say in Afrikaans, ek dun me heiswerk. Ek dun me heiswerk. So let's break down this answer. First we have ek dun, which is I am doing. Next comes may, which is the possessive pronoun my in English. Finally, we had heiswerk, which is the noun for homework. Again, all together it is ek dun me heiswerk. Note that in Afrikaans, you can use the present tense form to say that you aren't doing anything. For example, if someone asks you what you are doing and you are doing nothing, you can tell them ek dun niks nie, which literally means I am doing nothing. Here we are using the present tense form. Now, let's look at some common questions where you can use the verb dun. Remember gaan from the previous lesson? This time, we'll use it along with dun to form the question wat gaan ons dun, which means what are we going to do? Wat gaan ons dun? As you might remember, to direct the question at someone else, you need to change the pronoun. To ask someone what are you going to do, simply switch ons, meaning we, with je, meaning you. Wat gaan jij doen? Wat gaan jij doen? If you want to be more specific, you can ask someone what they're doing tonight or tomorrow, for instance. Wat gaan jij vanavond doen? means what are you doing tonight? Wat gaan jij vanavond doen? As you can see, the sentence is exactly the same as wat gaan jij doen. We've only added vanavond, which means tonight. You could also say wat gaan jij morgen doen? What are you doing tomorrow? Morgen means tomorrow. You can simply replace this word with any other word. Now it's time for Anne-Marie's tips. In Afrikaans, we often say wat gaan jij doen vanavond? It means what are you doing tonight? Try asking your friends if you want to go somewhere at night. It will sound very natural. Wat gaan jij doen vanavond? As you can see, in Afrikaans, you can place the time, for instance vanavond, both before or after the verb. In this lesson, you learned how to use the verb dun in different contexts, and I'm sure it will help you a lot. Next time, you'll learn another verb I bet you'll really like, ho fun. I'll see you in the next Afrikaans in 3 Minuten lesson. Lekker dag! Today we're going to talk about four techniques to help you stop translating in your head, and instead start thinking in your target language. This will allow you to have conversations with ease, read smoothly, and better understand native speakers. These are four methods to help you think in a new language. Number one, surround yourself with your target language. This way, you'll be completely immersed in the language. Without realizing it, you'll learn pronunciation, sentence structures, grammar, and new vocabulary. Play music in the background while you're cooking, or have a radio station on while you study. Just use one of our endless podcasts available to you. These are easy to listen to in the background while doing other things. Number two, learn through observation. This is how we all learned our native languages as kids. Words will develop their own meanings that relate better to your target language, rather than meanings that are translated directly. Number three, speak out loud to yourself. Even if you're a little embarrassed, it forces you to listen to how you speak. It makes it much easier to spot simple grammar mistakes. Number four, practice daily. If you practice everything for only one day, you won't retain the information you learned. The brain can realistically only focus for about 30 minutes. So studying a little every day allows you to absorb better. 
Follow these steps and have patience. You'll soon be able to achieve your language learning goals. Just make sure to remember these four methods. Sign up for your free lifetime account, no credit card required, and you'll get the best free online resources. And start learning more every day. Hello, it's Christine, and we're here to do some Afrikaans today in the lesson 10 things you always want to hear. So we're all excited about this one, obviously, because I'm going to be telling you things that you want to hear. <laughs> Jij lijkt goed vandaag. You look good today. Jij lijkt goed vandaag. You look good today. What's that? Oh, thanks. I just assume that you return the compliment. But it's always something that we really like to hear, especially if it's coming from that person that we've got our eye on. Um, but it's also just nice to tell people, if you walk past someone and you think they're looking good, let them know that they look like goed vandaag. Because it's always nice to make someone else's day. Ek miss jou. I miss you. Ek miss jou. I miss you. Long lost friends, long lost lovers, parents in different countries, whatever. Today's world, we're all over the globe. Our friends live in China. Our brother lives in England. Today, it's really common to know people that live really, really far away from us. And it's nice to sometimes receive a message saying, oh, they miss you. But it's also really nice to send a message to let someone know that you miss them. So get that phone out. Think about that friend and let them know, I miss you. Jij hebt een goede werk gedaan. You did a great job. Jij hebt een goede werk gedaan. You did a great job. That's always the best one you want to hear at school or at work because it means that you're on the right track, you're doing something good, and at the end of the day, you might get rewarded. Daar zal een bonus aan die einde van die maand wees. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. Daar zal een bonus aan die einde van die maand wees. There will be a bonus at the end of the month. If, like I said before, jij doen goeie werk, then maybe, just maybe, if you're lucky, it means you're going to get that bonus at the end of the month and you can go on that extra long Christmas holiday this year. So, keep up the goeie werk. Jij is a uitstekende kok. You're an excellent cook. Jij is a uitstekende kok. You're an excellent cook. Now, that's one that you want to say for when your parents come over for dinner for the first time in your new flat, or you're inviting that boy over that you've had your eye on, um, and you're cooking them a fancy dinner, and it's the first time that you're using this new saucepan you bought yesterday, and they tell you that, and just, oh, what a relief. The food was great, the guy thinks it's great, or your parents think it's great. Anyone is happy to know that their food is good because it means that you're going to get to enjoy it the most because you get to have your food every night. Fat a break, ek sal vandag skoon maak. Take a break, I'll do the cleaning today. Fat a break, ek sal vandag skoon maak. Take a break, I'll do the cleaning today. That's the best to hear from your partner or your parents or your flatmate. What a great day it is when you get to just lounge on the sofa, watch some TV, catch up on those sports. Do anything you want, even some painting or crafting. If you don't have to do the cleaning up, make a mess. <laughs> no jokes, be nice because next time it is your turn and then you're going to have to clean up someone else's mess. So just enjoy the day off. Enjoy it when someone tells you that they'll be doing the cleaning because next minute it'll be your turn again. <laughs> en jij ven, and you win. En jij ven and you win. Whatever you're doing, whether it's Saturday night and you're playing board games or you're playing card games on the beach with some friends, it's always a great one to hear that you're the winner because it means that you did your best and you won. So you've earned it. Jij was raag. You were right. Jij was raag. You were right. You won that argument. You were right when you said that this was the case and they said that was the case. It's such a nice feeling. You get all bubbly inside when someone you've been arguing with or just made a point tells you that you were right. It's like the I told you so and it's the best feeling ever. Who doesn't love that? Ek het jou iets besonders gebring. I brought you something special. Ek het jou iets besonders gebring. I brought you something special. What an exciting thing to hear. You've just come home, you've had a really long day and your friend's coming over and they tell you that they bought you something besonders. How exciting. Open it up straight away and just remember, if you don't like it, still look surprised because they think it's besonders. Die begroting is onbeperk. 
The budget is unlimited. Die begroting is onbeperk. The budget is unlimited. You've got an unlimited budget, an unbeperkte begroting, to do whatever you want to make this party, this function, this shebang, the best one there is. Because you've got everything you need, you can get anything you want, go crazy and enjoy it while it lasts because it doesn't come around often. So we've come to the end of today's session of 10 things you always want to hear. There's obviously plenty more things that we always want to hear. So let us know in the comments below if you like to hear these things or if they irritate you. Hopefully not because they're quite, they're quite nice things to hear. Um, but if you agree with some of them, if someone recently told you them and let us know how you felt because that would be really cool to like let other people feel that joy that you felt as well. Um, so like, comment, subscribe and keep visiting our channel AfrikaansPod101.com Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.